Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and E3 is now behind us. We saw a Nintendo show yesterday, and there was no Pokemon. Not a trailer, not a Treehouse demo, not a video posted on the Pokemon official YouTube channel, not a tweet of any kind. There was some Junichi Masuda liking Pokemon Go tweets, but that was all the Pokemon we had yesterday, and it brings up a lot of questions. Where is Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Where in its development is Legend Arceus? And why haven't we seen these games since February? With that being said, let's jump right into things. Now, for those of you who are fans of other Nintendo franchises besides just Pokemon, there was a ton for you yesterday. Not only did we get the official reveal of Metroid Dread, which is the fifth Metroid 2D platformer game, but we also got a brand new trailer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, which does not have an official name yet. I did reaction videos to both of those, and me and my friends reacted to the entire Direct, but I decided those were two of the better moments from the reactions, and I decided to post them. So if you want to see them, there's going to be a card linked in the corner right now. Go into the playlist with both of those reactions, you can go check them out. It's a good time. But there was a lot besides that. We had WarioWare, we had Mario Party, we had Mario Golf, we had the introduction of Age of Calamity DLC, we got a new Smash Fighter. There was a lot for Nintendo fans yesterday. But curiously, there was no Pokemon news for Nintendo fans and for Pokemon fans. Nothing. The Nintendo Direct started 40 minutes later, the Nintendo Direct ended, and there was absolutely no Pokemon to be found. We have not had brand new gameplay for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl or Legends Arceus since February of 2021. We are now halfway through June. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are scheduled to release in November. Legends Arceus is scheduled to release at the end of January. I understand that it's perfectly normal for us to not get information constantly. This is not going to be like the sun and moon hype cycle where the Pokemon company was releasing a brand new trailer every two weeks, announcing Alolan forms, new Ultra Beasts, new story content, talking about Lusamine and Lily and Gladion and Team Skull and the Aether Foundation. It was the height of ridiculous amounts of information dropped by the Pokemon company. Nobody expected that, but we have two actually three games that are coming out in the next six months, uh, eight months. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which are two separate games. Granted, it's, it's essentially one and Legends Arceus. And we know nothing about Legends Arceus. We've had one gameplay trailer where we saw some laggy, low FPS footage of some Chinglings. And that's all we've seen. Listen, I'm the most optimistic Pokemon fan on the planet. I think Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl look good, besides for the chibi models. I think they're going to be a fun uh, throwback to Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I'm excited for them. Legends Arceus looks like an incredibly ambitious step forward for the Pokemon games, and it looks like something where Game Freak is finally taking the suggestions of fans and trying to make something better. But where are they? We always get a Pokemon Presents or a Pokemon Direct before Nintendo Z3, like clockwork. And sometimes not only do we get that pre-E3 Director Presents, but we also get a smaller version of the trailer in Nintendo Z3 event. And sometimes we even see the games shown off in Treehouse afterwards. We got none of that. It is June 16th and there is no Pokemon news and we've had no Pokemon news since Pokemon Day. What's going on? What is the deal with development? The fact that we saw nothing at E3 makes me even more curious as to why around two and a half, three weeks ago now, they just dropped the release dates on us randomly. What is Pokemon planning? Now, this isn't inherently a negative. There's a lot of things that are coming up for Pokemon that lead you to believe we're going to be seeing something decently soon. Pokemon Unite, which is a mobile app and Switch game, which was revealed, oh my God, I want to say like, a year or so ago, maybe a year and a half ago. No, it was a year ago. It was in July. Pokemon or the end of June, Pokemon Unite was announced. They're gearing up for a full release. We have to hear about something about that soon. And you would imagine that Pokemon wants to get on top of that and announce it themselves in their own official capacity. So you'd be lead, led to believe that we're going to be getting something decently soon. But we need an event. 
Now, <laughs> it's weird because we're in the hype cycle now. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the newest Pokemon games, remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, some of the most beloved games in the franchise, are releasing in November, November 18th specifically. It is almost July. We've had one trailer. You have the entire community scrambling to figure out what level of hype to have for these games because we don't know what the scope is yet. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were marketed in that first trailer as faithful remakes to Diamond and Pearl, one for one remakes. We have seen some things in the trailers to tell us that maybe they actually are pulling some things from Platinum, but we don't know. There's a ton that could lead us in a variety of different directions as to what these games are actually going to look like, and a trailer at E3 would have done a ton. I think that even if the games weren't ready to be shown, you're releasing a game in November, you're releasing a game in January. How do you not have something to be shown? And if you don't have something to be shown, you guys need to be transparent with us and outline what your plans are. We're sitting here in summer. It's going to be summer in five days, January, June 21st, I believe is the first official day of the summer season. And we've had one trailer. What's the deal? Legends Arceus, to go to that game, is a deeply ambitious title. It is an open world Pokemon game with Pokemon roaming the world, with you being able to perform various actions to interact with the environment in a way that we've never seen in a Pokemon game. We've had one trailer, and while it looked incredibly promising, there was a ton of bugs and things that needed to be polished. In February, it's easily forgivable. It's about 11 months until release. A lot of polishing and a lot of improvements on games happened in that last year. It's totally understandable that they want to show us essentially what is a proof of concept and then continue to give us updates since. But again, I'll reiterate for the fourth time, it's June. Where is this game? Where are these games? What is Game Freak's plan? Listen, I will gladly eat my words and be excited and shut up next week. If they reveal that a Pokemon Presents event is happening in the middle of June and we're going to get information on Legends Arceus and BDSP Fantas and Pokemon Unite and the Detective Pikachu sequel, which was announced in like 2019 and we've seen nothing about it since it was coming out on Switch. I, I mean, I don't know. Detective Pikachu on 3DS was like Samus Returns on the 3DS. Samus Returns is getting a sequel in uh, Metroid Dread. Where's our Detective Pikachu sequel? We've seen nothing. We've we've literally, for Detective Pikachu's sequel, we've seen no gameplay whatsoever. We've literally just had them say, this exists, this is coming, get excited for it. It was around when Detective Pikachu the movie launched, or maybe a year after. That's all we've had. We're hitting the time when we need to see things, and the Pokemon company holding things so close to their chests is making my comment section a cesspool. <laughs> you guys leave comments. You've seen it. There are tons of hot takes floating around talking about how bad these games are, how it's going to be a major disappointment, uh, attacking Sword and Shield endlessly, which is a great part of the Pokemon community. This is where we're at right now. This is the state of the community. Game Freak needs to show us something, and they missed, in my opinion, a major opportunity to do it in front of a large audience at E3. Legend Arceus is a game that's captured the minds of not just the Pokemon community, but the Nintendo community as a whole. People are interested in this game. You had a great chance to show it off. If it's not ready, is it really going to hit that, July, uh, that January release date? I'm not too sure. With that being said, we're going to have more E3 videos coming in the future. I need to do a whole review of Nintendo Z3. We're going to be talking about more Pokemon. We have a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. I want to thank you guys for the support recently. It's been really good. And what was your reaction yesterday when we saw no Pokemon? Were you just as confused as I was? Or do you think Game Freak has some bigger plan and that come the end of June, the beginning of July, we're going to start to get trailers and maybe a Pokemon Presents and we're going to know more. With that being said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that bell as well as subscribing because it does a ton to support me and it does a ton to tell me what videos you want, you want to see me do more of in the future. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.